Hi, I'm Jack, and I like video games, and uh, this is my lovely wife, Katie, and we are back in Assassin's Creed Syndicate, and uh, we uh, we had a little issue with the computer, so uh, we had to, uh, we actually did part of one of the memories, but we're going to restart it so we have it all captured. Yeah. So, <clears throat> alas, Alexander Graham Bell gave us a little bit of an issue. So, how has your day been? Um, I just ate ice cream. You did just eat ice cream. We didn't get any of that. We You ate a whole bowl of ice cream, and it's all gone now. It is all gone now. And we, record, we had it all recorded, and the computer crashed, and we lost everything. So. Yeah, because that was the, the, the pivotal mm -hmm. part of It was very video, important. was when I ate the ice cream. Yeah, obviously. It's rude to eat on camera, though, right? Is it? Although, I don't know. I think it gives me attitude. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking about, like, a monologue that I wanted to do. Give you some ice cream sass? Well, yeah. And I was like, man, if I was eating a carrot stick during this monologue, it would be that much better. <laughs> um, That's true. You can, you can do something like that, I'm sure. Yeah, you know, it's mm. just like, I forget what the scene, well, All right. I, mean, I don't forget, but anyway. So, anyway, we had to go here to help this guy. Intercepting nothing but oh. poppycock propaganda about soothing syrup and whatnot. No, I swear to high heavens, if Starrick's monopoly continues... Alec, I beg your pardon, these are friends of mine. Evie Fry and her brother, Jacob. Wait, what, are you a vampire? <laughs> Alexander, no. Graham Bell. Alexander Graham Bell. I wonder if that's what, like, is that what he looked like? I don't know. Because with, um, uh, I'm completely blanking. What is the name of the gentleman that dropped all the papers? Chaucer, uh, Charles no, Dickens. Dickens. I get Dickens and Chaucer mixed up. Chaucer's a bit older. Um, Dickens is very similar in all the ways that he's portrayed he looks yeah. very similar so i wonder if they did have like a photo of him or something like some kind of record of him hmm. um, possibly i mean i have no idea Cusay, so, did, so Cusay did they Cusay have like a record of what he looked like i don't know i mean, I mean i'm sure i mean this is 1886 and i don't know how old he lived but i mean photography was around oh. in the night early night i mean well, was motion photography was around movies were around at the turn of the century so kuse we get it I mean, the first movies were 1905, I think. And they first kind of went into production. This guy reminds me of um, of Fitz from Agents he of Shield. He does, and it's not even just his accent; it's his uh, his like demeanor. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of kind of bouncy, kind of goofy. So, all right. So now we're not anymore. We're gonna go to Big Ben. No spoilers. What happened to his hand? Do we know? We never, yeah, I never... He mentioned something about how he's down a hand, but... Yeah, he's handicapped. <laughs> he literally says the word handicapped. You didn't read it? I, I did not. All right, so now they're talking about sending messages over the telephone. You could just call it a telephone. You could just call it a telephone. So now we know. And Evie that's... Faye. Fry. <laughs> Excuse me. Joke oh, me. I just flattened that dude. That was really no, 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 no. That's not happening. Man, they just want to climb all up my pants today. Yeah, they like them. Apparently, <sighs> All right. All right. So now I gotta get on top of Big Ben. Don't fail. I'll try not to. Thank you for the support. <laughs> Why? Kuse doesn't want us to fail either. Ball. Jacob is useless. Yeah. I'll do it. What a douche. Kuse. Shut up. So, uh, when I worked for Mondo, um, I uh, was looking in, in farms that were related to, uh, that were for poster collectors, and somebody used the word douche canoe. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just the funniest word douche canoe. I have ever heard in my entire life. What was, what was the term? Rat bag. You used the term rat bag okay. around. Yeah, rat bag is just like kids that are being silly. You know, like, don't be a rat bag. Like, still pretty awesome. Quit, quit messing around. Yeah, you guys really love that yeah. word. But douche, douche canoe holds douche a canoe special a place one. in my heart. It is just such a hilarious book. Like, who? Why? Those two things. <laughs> <laughs> what? I, don't, I don't get it. That is, a, that is a good takedown. That's fascinating. What was going through that person's head when they thought of that? Oh, man. Leap of faith. No, I don't want to do that. Not yet. I need to get one more. Okay. Something about just like being over the top of this. Look, Parliament, Big Ben. I think that there is a lot to be said for video game um, 
soundtracks. Oh yeah, absolutely. Music. Like the people that orchestrate the music for video games. Man. Character. Yeah, the uh, the music in especially the Assassin's Creed game has always yeah. been really good. Mm -hmm. They actually switched composers after mm -hmm. um, three, I think. Get out of here. We just talked about it on uh, Five Facts not too long ago. Cool. I uh, also really love the Far Cry soundtrack. The yeah. Far Cry 3? Which one was the one with, um, not Saul, uh, Voss? Voss was Saul? 3. Yeah, Far Cry 3 is my favorite yeah. soundtrack. I think that's one Skrillex, the one with Skrillex. Yeah, yeah, where you burn the fields. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That, that game fascinated me because um, they had uh, birds that I thought were native to um, Australia running around. But then they also had like tigers. Yeah. So maybe it was just like a weird island that had lots of different things. Um, cassowaries, they're the dinosaur bird. Dinosaur the, bird. Um, we went to Featherdale, I think, and we saw them. And they have like the, the horny the horn thing on the Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. They have like the f big bird feet, like they literally look like puppet feet, but they're real dinosaur-looking. Um, I jumped to the wrong side. Oh, did you fail again? No, no, I'm okay. But yeah, they had cassowaries running around. And I thought that that was fascinating. Birds are weird. Is it? I guess it's technically a, still a bird because it has feathers, right? But then again, dinosaurs were birds, a lot of them, right? Well, is that what the theory is? Um, yeah, kind please, of. Please correct me because I don't want the internet to yell at me. Well, I mean, they they, they weren't birds, but they're saying people say they evolved from birds, right? Or two birds. I forget exactly what it is. Mm. That was. Um, well, I mean, the albatross is so similar to a pterodactyl. Yeah. Um, well, to quote me. Alan Grant. Uh, Velociraptor. Raptor means bird of prey. Bird. Prey. <laughs> I don't know. Is that before he flew the helicopter into the... No, 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 no. No, Alan Grant from the first movie. Is that, uh... Sam Neill is the actor's name. Oh, man. Yeah, he's Australian. No, I know who Sam Neill is. He's in, um... Look, look at those... Look at it. She's totally smitten with she him. She is not! Look at him. He's like, do come and visit. Wow, yeah, he was super hitting yeah. on her. <laughs> why throw it at the horse? Like, why oh. was that a thing that was a good idea? Yeah, and she looks for She's like, hey, what a silly man. I will Alan never make Darren. out with him. Oh, please. What? She will. You think so? No. But it'd be cool. All right, air assassinate a guard from a zip line. Um... No, I know who Sam Neill is. He's in um, he's in a mini series that I really loved. Um, I think it was called Melon. Maybe it wasn't called Melon. He was in a. It was the the Arthur series. Did you ever watch Event Horizon? Maybe. No, you would I think know. Sam Will Sam Neill was before my time. You would know if you watched Event Horizon. It's one of the most creepiest, messed up horror yeah, movies of all time. I have not seen it. Um, a lot of uh, Dead Space was kind of. Not based on it, but there's definitely elements of uh, of Event Horizon in Dead Space. I know nothing about Dead Space, and I oh realized this the other day. Dead Space is such a good game. The first Dead Space is one of my favorite games ever. Because I thought Dead Space was um, Fallout. Really? Yeah, but I have totally had the. All right, I'm totally gonna assassinate this dude from the line. Oh, boom! Hello, right in front of your friend here. And they're not police, they're part of the gang. Right? Yeah, these are these are the blighters, which are the, the bad dudes. Okay, so I'm noticing that the characters are the same. So, uh, what I'm saying is, oh. they use the same models oh. Oh. over and over and over again. Well, they've done that in every Assassin's Creed game, which... No, I know, I'm not saying it's bad, I'm just figuring out now why everyone looks very oh. similar. That's also... that I mean, guy's on the cover. Like, he's that guy you just killed, is actually brute. on yeah. the cover of the game. Yeah. Oh, that was intense. Yeah, um, I mean that every game does that though. Where I know I'm not oh. saying it's a bad thing. I mean it's I would rather them do that than me pay ten dollars oh. more a game because they've you know have yeah. to individually model a billion people. Coach, hello. Oh no. <laughs> give him a little. Give him a little zero, push. Zero, zero. Shit's given. Uh, yeah. What? Well, yeah. Rock. Yeah. So Rock. I wanted to bring this up before. Efforts, uh, which is 
It's like a huh. Yeah. Right, that's huh. The, the sounds that you make when the, when it's not necessarily dialogue. It's like when you're fighting. It's um, what she's doing right now when she's you know exerting um, energy, um, like a tennis player hitting a ball and, and stuff like that. That noise efforts are extremely challenging, and I didn't think that they would be because I did them for the first time recently, and I really didn't think that they would be as challenging as they were. Um, and I, I had figured it out that. It has to do with um, when you're acting. Voice, I think voice acting is harder than, than regular acting. Do you? Yes, uh, without a doubt. Because with regular acting, you can put yourself in the environment. I got you an achievement. Assassinate um, 50 enemies. <laughs> cool, that's a lot of people. Um, oh, there's going to be a lot more, don't worry. <laughs> okay, well, this is a loose count. Hello, officer. Nothing to see here. Nothing to see here <laughs> at all. Um, or I have to craft something now. Immersive? Is that a word? That's a word, right? Immersive, yeah. Yeah. So uh, when you're on a set and when you're with people and, and like especially other characters and or you're in even in a in a you know a costume for a character be it just like a blazer or be it like a tank top be it a medieval you know garb um, you're kind of immersed in it. In vo when you're doing voice acting, you're in a box. Yeah. And you're just looking at a piece of paper with highlighted dialogue, and you have to like kind of bring that character to life, and it's extremely difficult. Um, and efforts are extremely difficult because you want to be able to like punch and, and yeah. move, but like the wall is only so far away from you, and you you can't. Do you ever have to do like the out of breath voice where you like do jumping jacks or something in the booth before you have to uh, give dialogue? Right. So that was actually a new thing I was introduced to because um, I'm I'm still learning a lot mm -hmm. of things. Um, where when I did Strangerhood, Kyle, uh, I was doing a, a thing where she was running a race. Um, and she was like, ah, I just really want to blah, blah, blah. And so I was pretending to be that way. And he's like, no, 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 just like run on the spot and I'll tell you when to stop. And so for like a minute straight, Kyle Taylor had me running on the spot until That's like funny. I was literally out of breath and then delivered the dialogue, which is great because it was more authentic um, and effective. So it's cost to quit. But yeah, so I think I think um, voice acting is much harder. If you could be a voice actress in any, it, I should I should reiterate a character voice actress. There you go. That's what I mean. Yeah, I can't I can't voice act for hell like for anything, but I can do like the big booming. Um, voice of God. Yeah, like the voice of God, or like an announcer at a, a game or something. Like I can do that stuff, mm -hmm. but when it comes to actually doing the uh, proper ones, like I can't do that at all. Yeah. Um, if you could be a voice With actress, and like, yeah, and actually giving emotion. performance, yeah. like doing like the you know now starting for the whatever, like that's easy to do. But mm -hmm. when it comes like you know, oh my father, what happened? Like, I can't do that. No. <laughs> Why? <laughs> no. Yeah, but um, but if you could be if you could be a voice actress in any game, which one would you want to be a voice oh, actress man. in? Pro I main Assassin's character Creed. or a small character? Well, like? Main character, Assassin's Creed. Small character, maybe Borderlands. Yeah. Um, I say that because I think it's more likely. <laughs> well, the last Borderlands well, game was made. Well, Australian. the pre-sequel. The pre-sequel was made in Australia. That's right. So, and so there's uh, a lot of Australians in it. Right. Um, the initial dialogue was actually all Australian um, people, and then they they re um, they redid it because they weren't voice actors. They were just filling in. Yeah, the, yeah. The dialogue, so. All right. Um, well, yeah, I think I think it's Assassin's Creed. Who are my targets? Who are my targets? Yeah, it would definitely be Assassin's Creed. Especially if it was like the next game to this, where they finally introduced him. Putting, putting stuff up on the wall. <laughs> it's like a string. I mean, I mean, like, a sibling rivalry. It's like, shut the hell up. Uh, what about you? Um, Assassin's Creed would be cool. Um... I don't know. See, like, I, I something like trials. Like, I've talked about like, trying to get my voice in trials. But there's, no, there's no voice in trials. No, but I mean, it'd be and cool. And again, it's just efforts, right? Yeah, well, it was just so. a lot of screaming. Um, <laughs> screaming is also hard. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I mean, like, honestly, Assassin's Creed is one of my favorite stories of all time. Mm -hmm. oh, I just think you could be like such a cool character, you know? Like. Oh, well, that was the finishing of memory sequence three, so we were close. Oh, cool. All right, so we just wrapped up three. I thought we did it before, but I guess we had the one more mission with uh, with uh, Alexander Graham Bell. So now we're on to four. Yay! Um, I just, I guess, I'm thinking like um, an extensive character, like even on on Halo, maybe you could have like a background, but you probably die. So yeah, um, they've actually had quite a few um, 
pretty big name actors Maybe, be in the Halo Nathan, games. Isn't Nathan Fillion like mm-hmm. the main character of the next one? Well, he's he's Buck yeah. in uh, in Halo Five, which is one of the main characters. Mm-hmm. And then uh, so now we're going after the creepy doctor dude, which is weird. Oh, the one that was. Um, wait, no, not the one that was like pulling out things. Um, the creepy doctor. No, no, that that was modern day when okay. that happened. Right, that's why I was confused. Yeah, yeah. So we're all the way up there. So. I mean, so you said trials. South. What else would you? I think it'd be fun to be like in a, um, like in a Halo type game or like Doom or something. I think Doom would be awesome. You have to pick two. Yeah. So trials for for like a like a not not a main character like just kind of a fun thing. That would yeah, be awesome. yeah. But if it if it came to actually being a character, something something in Assassin's Creed would be cool. Even like an associate or like just like, like a Green. bartender or something. Yeah, yeah. Like something just. Somewhere in the game, even just a tiny little role would be pretty badass, yeah. in my opinion. But um, no, I want the I want the whole role. Like yeah, I, want the, I want the one. I would be fine one. to say one line of dialogue, and I'd just go. <laughs> I'd be fine, but I would rather. <laughs> I would just go stand next to my character. That I'm like, this is me. This is me right here. Well, like, how fun would that be? Like, even on, on on animation, um, in general, like animated films, animated television, just like to be able to go, I am this character, I bring it to life. Yeah, But yeah. that also kind of spoils the fun for me. When I see the voice actors, I'm like, oh, you know what I thought. Yeah. So, like the lady that plays um, uh, Rugrats. What's the main character? Tommy Pickle? Tommy Pickle. The lady that plays Tommy Pickle. Not what I thought Tommy no. Pickle looked like. So She's done a lot of voice stuff though, right? Mm, I think so. Or was her? Maybe the no. maybe the one is the voice of uh, Chucky. Of Chucky. The lady yeah. that does Chucky and the lady that does um, Phil and Lil. Phil and Lil. They do a lot of voice acting. Um, All right, I think this one. Oh, I remember. Yeah, so this one, this is a fun mission. So I'm trying to do only like the the story based missions. So mm-hmm. we'll keep progressing the story, and then when it comes to the non story stuff, I'll jump into that on my own and just knock that out. So. Mm-hmm. Water. Are you excited for the Warcraft movie? Yeah, yeah. Duncan Jones is doing it. He did Moon, which is fantastic. Do you know who Duncan Jones, is, who his father is? Mr. Jones? Nope. Well, maybe, but nope. <laughs> Duff. No, that's a stupid joke. David uh, Bowie. Oh, really? Yeah, he's David Bowie's son. Huh. And he did Moon. He did... Um, Labyrinth? I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, he did not do Labyrinth. <laughs> Um, he did uh, Source Code, I think was his next movie. Is that the one with Jake Gyllenhaal? Mm-hmm. Jake Gyllenhaal and um, uh, that lady from Bridget Monaghan, I think, or, 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 or I don't know. Anyway, the one from Pixels. Oh yeah, she's in it too. Oh okay, I thought she was the, the main person. Well, I don't know. The, uh, oh, I burned four skill points. Let me use my skill points real quick. Um, Michelle. Michelle Monaghan. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Skills. Cool. So now I've got five skill points that I can now distribute into my tree here. So there's combat, stealth, and ecosystem. So ecosystem makes it, well, you know, here's like defense, or you can make it where you get more stuff from when you loot chests. Um, Evie's specialization is sneaking stuff, mm-hmm. so you can kind of put it into that. So stealth one is good. I like her stealth stuff. Um, what else can I throw? Oh, I hit level three. Woohoo! So now I've got Stealth 2, Knife Master, um, Assassin Steps is a good one, Lock Pick 2 is also good, I'll do Knife Master. If you could be in any animated TV show or like film, what kind of character would you want to be? What kind of character? So for example, I would love to be in um, something... Uh, Nickelodeon y, so um, like Recess. I loved watching Recess, um, being one of those characters. Or uh, Hey Arnold. Um, yeah. So I've got to search the Templar chest here. It'd be really cool to do that. Did you watch cartoons growing up? Yeah. Um, I was a Nickelodeon kid, but like. I was around Nickelodeon when it was like, um, who sees me over? Oh, hi guys, don't mind me. <laughs> that, was, that was a mistake. Alright, let me just sneak around here. 
Radicalization. Um, like I remember, like Hey Dude and Nick Arcade. Mm-hmm. Um, did you ever see those shows? Oh, I've got cops there. Uh, maybe. Screwed. Yeah, there was uh, there's some really good shows when I was growing up. Um, like Salute Your Shorts. Did you ever see that show? Mm-hmm. Camp Anawana. Salute Your Shorts was a um, it was a show where it was basically these kids at a summer camp, but it was like a um, yeah. It's kind of like Wet Hot American Summer. Almost. I was gonna gonna ask that question. Not as uh, not as intense as that movie, obviously, but still pretty uh, pretty good. I wonder if I can hit her from here. Um, Catch, got her. Cool. <laughs> <clears throat> um, yeah, I I watched uh, a lot of Australian television. Like, there's a, a feature film of. Um, a cartoon I grew up watching called Blinky Bill, which is about a koala. <clears throat> and they're making it into a feature film using the original voice actors. Which Blinky I think Bill. Is, yeah, which I think is really cool. Um, but also including um, really amazing Australian actors uh, that I watched growing up. That's cool. Uh, and Rebel Wilson. Who nice. Was awesome. Very cool. She is the de facto Australian... Like famous Australian, like if you need an Australian right now for a movie or something, Good. she's your one. Right? I feel like Rose Byrne as well as has become like more Australian. See to me, like Rose Byrne doesn't, she doesn't like really scream Australian. Yeah, she's kind of um, like I mean, she's done American looking. roles, yeah. Whereas like Rebel Wilson's like, I'm Australian, look at me, right? And it's like, okay, so. What was that? Are you laughing at my Australian? Or are you like laughing at Jake and that, poking his head up? I was laughing at both of those things simultaneously. Oop. Ah, uh, um, stole your shit. <laughs> Latest. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I would I would say that. Um, I don't think, I think the same, that I think what you think about Rose Byrne, I think about Margot Robbie. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, she doesn't... She does not. All right, I don't want you to hate me, but I'm going to totally shoot this horse. Oh, really? Oh, hi. Well, I guess it's not a real horse. It's just a digital one. Um, Yeah, Margot Robbie's like too classy for me to be Australian. I feel like Australians have a sense of uh, self-deprivation. Deprecation, you mean? Deprecation. Yeah. Did I say, did I say deprivation? You said deprivation. Like yeah, deprecation is what I meant. Like a Sorry. chamber. Um, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> they have a sensory deprivation where they just don't feel or see or smell or... Um, anyway, that joke was lost. Uh, yeah, deprecation. Sorry, I'm, I'm busy trying to kill these dudes. No, it's totally My gun fine. is not that great. That's totally... I'm shoot the horse. No. Oh. Shoot the horse. Reload quicker, Evie. So it would be really cool to be in Australia, I think. I think. There we go. Uh, what are you doing? Like, I'm my legs up. Uh. If you shoot the horse, it takes out the whole carriage, see? I can see that. So, that's why. Is that why? Is that really why? God dang it. There and everyone go. wants to be in a Pixar film, right? Oh, of course. Film. Well, Pixar, like, they, they I like Pixar because they hire the actor, or they hire for the character. They don't hire the actor. You know, like, they always look for someone who fits the role more than... Well, I feel like Kristen Bell um, fit Anna in Frozen. No, yeah, yeah. I mean, other other places do it, too, but... Oof. That hurt. Um, I just I think they do it better. Yeah, they also have a. Uh, they also have recurring um, Throw that guy out. actors like uh, the dude from Cheers, who's always in it. He's been in like every, oh, yeah, um, every Pixar film. Um, Who does he play in Toy Story? Does he play the pig? Ham? Yeah, yeah, he's Ham. Uh, that's. Uh, um, he plays the truck in Cars. John, John Rizin- not John Rosinski, John Ratzenberger is his name. Yeah. Yeah. So I like that. They're like little Easter eggs. Like, I know it seems silly, but as a kid, you probably don't put those things together. Yeah. Um, but growing up, it's like, oh, hey. <laughs> yeah, he's been in every single Pixar movie at some point or another. I liked his uh, his role in Incredibles. Whole movie goes without him. And at the very end, 
the underminer pops up out of the ground and it's him. It's like, ah! And then the, the family's like, ah, ready to fight. That's awesome. Mm-hmm. Have you seen the end of uh, The First Cars? Yes. Where it does the recap of every other Pixar film and it's just his character. Oh, is it? Yeah, and I, he's I like, going, lame, it's been done. And he's just like <laughs> critiquing his own roles. That's funny. It's really cute. Look at that train. Woo. It's a good looking it's train. It's powered by steam, Marty. It's taking us to Hogwarts. Woo-hoo. Oh, thank you, wee sister. It's pretty rad. Whoa, he just... Whoa. There's Jacob just hanging out, whatever. Hang chilling out, on the, the couch. Nintendo. Why is there a fireplace? That Why just, is there? Well, that I guess seems dangerous. A, I guess there's a steam room, right? A steam room. What do you call it? I, I, Sauna? I hit... A, no. The, where they put the coal in the steam engine. Oh, the engine furnace. Room. Yeah, furnace. So I guess there's that. So a little fireplace can't be much worse than that. <laughs> right? Theoretically? Maybe. Right. Know what I mean? Playing it by ear. Um, let's see here. Man, I love Rebel Wilson. I'm just my brain is going through like the characters that I remember her as because she started off. She actually grew up not not far away from where I grew up. Really? Um, and she was in a TV show called Fat Pizza, which was about where I grew up. Huh. And um, that's how she started. That's cool. Uh, yeah. And I just remember what. Are you pals? Did you go to the same school? I don't know what school she went to. Man, if we if I had someone famous went to my high school, I think everyone would know. Really? I mean, I think it would be like a big deal, like, oh, graduated from Leander High School, but we had you know we had a couple football players that went on to play for relatively big colleges, but we haven't had anyone famous from any of our schools. I don't think. I remember driving somewhere for some. Uh, I think I was driving to do it, do something at my sister's school, and uh, I passed a sign that said. Baz Luhrmann went to this kindergarten. <laughs> like, really? <laughs> That's funny. It was, what, like, 30 years ago? Field work is not really my speciality. Oh, here we go. You're going to like this mission, I think. Look at that. Flirt. She's totally, totally hitting on him. No, I don't know. I don't know if I like where this is going. Like, I don't know if I like that, that, that she's kind of... A flirt? But I guess she's in charge of her own... Yeah, I mean, she's not She's not like a damsel in distress. She's beating the hell out of people. That's true. But, you know, she's a female. I feel like she's almost um, uh, more responsible than Jacob, too. Jacob's, like, really trigger-happy. Well, he also just wants to... All he wants to do is go and start right. his... Right, so I was right. In that first video, when you asked me that question... What do you think of the characters? I said that she was like the the more you know responsible one, and he was kind of just like. Whoa. Well, you said she was like the vicious killer. <laughs> yeah, because Which, she is. Uh, yeah, I guess. She I does. watched her kill someone and keep walking. She didn't even break stride. I mean, that was you, obviously. Well, yeah. But. But technically, I could have done that as Jacob too. So, really? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. He you, just seems like more playful and. You can switch between characters. She just seems more stealthy, which you've already talked yeah. about, um, and just more driven. Like I have a goal, I need to achieve this, and he's like, "Let's have, let's do other stuff in the meantime," you know. Well, he just he's you know he wants to do stuff. He wants to get on the attack. Indeed. Mm-hmm. But she has a plan, which is on the attack. She just yeah. is. It's a different plan than one he wants to do. You know. All right. So, did you catch where we're at right now? Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Welp. <laughs> I don't know what happened there. Uh, I heard Gimli House. Uh, no, no. It's um. This is the uh, is uh, what's his name's house? This is uh, Kinway House. Oh, it's Jackdaw. Sorry, I only just read the top corner. Yeah. Yeah. So they so, are a little related. Wait, so he's a bad guy now? No, no, no. This is just, this is just the, uh, this is the Kinway house. This is Edward Kinway's house. Right, but does he still exist? No, I don't think. Oh, like Maybe I don't know. Oh, I'm moving stuff around. I'm sorry. Are you doing just not because I'm trying to get comfy. Oh, bye. Hi, Kuse. What? Are you, oh, that's Emma. She heard we knocked stuff over, and now she's excited. Woo! Can you check over there? Man, he went sailing. Of course. When you ran him over? <laughs> no, he's been flying out of the car. 
Alright, so there's extra hidden stuff as well in here that we're going to look for. Everyone wants attention right now. It's like one person comes over, and then another person, and by person I mean animal, and by animal I mean cat and dog. Right. Tuesday, your head got small. What happened to you? I mean, your head got big. What happened to you? I think it's cool that it's fall or autumn because it's it's that here as well. Yeah, yeah. Oh, ow, ow, ow. Goose, don't use ow, your nails. Ow, ow. That's mean. You're right in my crutchal region. Oh, really I stabbed the guy in the throat. I know. Oh, she honked. <laughs> she honked. Look at the funniest sounds. I didn't even do anything. Right in my inner thigh. Oh, she, she doesn't see me. Stabbed her in the butt. In the butt. So there's a lot of uh, hidden Fatality stuff in here. in the butt. That you can go and, uh, and find. So like this ship. That's cool. Interesting. So that's one of the uh, Kinway memorabilia. So, what happened to him? We don't really know yet. Um, oh. At least in the. Uh, like you haven't got that far. I need lockpick two to get into there. Let me see if I can get lockpick two. Oh, that's right. Going. Uh, yeah, like I I haven't encountered him yet. Uh, I have no skills. Uh, I want lockpick two. Ooh! Ah, what is in my eyeball? I don't know. What'd you put in your eyeball? Man, I don't know. Uday is bringing us a present. Did you say you tried to, to drag one of my um, Converse shoes up the stairs? Did he? And he just left it in the middle of the, st yeah, <laughs> the first step. It. Like, yeah, I tried. Close enough. All right, there's the guns. A blazon. He was quite the collector. Yes, he was. Uh, he was also a pirate. So his son is um, Connor's dad, right? Uh, yes. So, did we not see what happened to his sister? Uh, not yet. Yeah, like, so... His, he, his daughter, excuse me. Yeah, we don't know what's happened to, uh, the Kenway clan, all like of them. Jessica? I wish father could have seen this. Sophie? I can't remember what her name was. Here with this door? Nope. But she was the one who was like, don't, don't ask me to dance or don't come near me. Yeah, yeah. Like, I don't want to be... Hit on. Where is the rest of the stuff? I want to find the rest of the uh, Kinway clues. Oh, there's people upstairs. Pay no mind to me down here, folks. What are they doing? It's all good. I need to be better about my posture, but I'm just not. It's really late at night, in the evening, in the p.m. <laughs> I don't need to worry about it. Late in the night in the PM. I'm really hyper on sugar, but also really exhausted. So it's a weird contribu in contribution, weird combination. I sound what, Jack? What do I sound? You sound kind of tired. You don't know But me. you also sound hyper. You don't know me. It's a lethal combination. You don't know that. Shh. Wow. You are dumb. <laughs> she was just looking for a good book. Let's see if we can find more Take stuff. Take that away from her. She she oh, look, look. It's the it's the glass thing with the blood in it from, uh, from uh, is that Black Flag, I think? Another assassin artifact. Another assassin artifact. Okay, so they recognize this as an assassin, like, stronghold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Now, is that why they're trying to claim it back? Yeah, yeah. But, well, we're looking for something. Like, we're looking for clues. Oh, look at Kenway's time. And, um, yeah, we're looking for clues. That will help us. Uh, Kenway's time. Wasn't that just like 50 years ago? I'm so sorry. When was Kenway? Was he not. This is 1825, you said, right? This is like 1880 something. Oh, excuse me. Look at the last one. My history oh. is. There we go, we got them all. Okay. Rough. Yeah, so this is the. Um, Do you know what I just realized after you tell me that? What did you realize? So I'm getting distracted. Sorry. Like I start answering and then I stop. That's got to be annoying for anyone who's watching this. Um, All dozen of you. Thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing. <laughs> I'm also um, in interrupting you when I have a thought, so that can't help. Um, but I realized just this very second that I wasn't taught anything about English history. Really? Like American history or English history? Like either of them. Hmm. So but you, the, history you, yeah. I, the history that I learned was just from 100 years before I was born. 
D A D E F D. Remember that D A D E F D. Data F D. Data right. F D. D A D E F D. Um. Yeah. So it kind of it began at oh ex excuse me except for um, history about um, indigenous Australians which, yeah. which spans to upwards of forty thousand years. So. But you're like part of the Commonwealth. How do you how do you not have any I have no English history? Idea. Like that is kind of surprising. I learned very little about government as well. Um. <laughs> now we find Kinway's treasure. Look at this. So this is Edward's Edward Kinway's stash. Look at the pirate flags. Oh, do we have one of them? Mm -hmm. I think we have a pirate flag somewhere. Or maybe you have one in the office. I just assume that it's pretty cool. Crack. Yeah. I took your 229 whatevers. Hmm. Euros. Oh. Uh -huh. Okay, so so he died about 100 years ago. I guess so. Because he said to think these have been hidden for a century. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, it doesn't necessarily have to die. I mean, it's just been hidden there. Right, but you assume it's because he wasn't there anymore. I guess so, yeah. Well, logo. All told. Bolt holes, bolt. This <laughs> but this. No one bothered. There's a giant hole. How do you not run down that and be like, uh, excuse me, something is clearly going on? It's closing. Yes, I can see that. Help me block it. Please find another way out. I bet that wheel has something to do with it. Oh, snap. I, the flag, if you look at it, it genuinely looks like an embroidered flag. Oh yeah, I kind of know. Really cool. That's neat. There we go. So at work, we had a <laughs> we had a clicker, like uh, that that nightclub um, bouncers have, where they are clicking how many people are in the venue for yeah, fire yeah. safety reasons. Um, and we had that for uh, the podcast that we did at the convention, and uh, we were trying to figure out. <laughs> Who could get the most clicks in 10 seconds? <laughs> because that's what you do. Yeah. Because you have nothing better to do. Mm -hmm. Oh, hi, buddy. I did not win. No? I did okay. I think I got 50 something. Um, yeah, look at all XP. So much XP. Outfit Defender's Guard. I like that experience points at XP, not EP. Uh, we go inventory. Oh, oh, what did I call it? What did I call it? Go back, go back. What, what, what? Um, kukuri. Kukuri. Kukri. 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 Outfits. Uh, defender's garb. She's got a new outfit. Look at her. Looking nice. New cape. Um, uh, adds on to my defense. I probably should have done this stuff before. New firearms. Better gun. As in, let's see, three grand. Screw the weight. I think it's just knuckle dusters in her gloves. I can upgrade it. Quick shot, I'll hold off. Gauntlets. Gauntlets. Bumps up my attack. What? Crazy. Higher stun. They should do an immersion. Level and three. Have like a bunch of dummies and see if you can really like. Like if that's a. If you do thing. what, like stab people with it? Oh, like if it actually like if if you could get enough legitimately meat use it as it. a weapon, yeah. And like, what That'd parts cool. of your body would need to to coordinate to make that an effective um, weapon? Like, I was saying with rock climbing, I wasn't. I had strong legs, but I didn't have strong arms. Like, what part of your body do you need to be in tune with to make that? Yeah, coordinate. Yeah. I'm gonna get this uh, viewpoint while I'm here. Do it. I think this is uh, St. Paul's. What does the blue person mean? Blue's a cop. Oh, cool. Oh crap. Oh, the Bill. That's a show that I I grew up on. It's a British police show. Man, that's a good show. 
I don't want to face you. I just want to get to the top. There we go. What's what kind of sitcom would you want to be in? Or not even sitcom, but but, but TV show. I like to be like in a serial drama, like mm-hmm. uh, like Breaking Bad or something. Or um, there's a new show actually on HBO coming out called Vinyl. Mm-hmm. It's all about like the record industry in like the '70s when stuff was just nuts. Is it a documentary? Or? No, no, it's just a it's a show. I mean, it's like oh, a cool. sounds interesting. Like it's fiction. Yeah, yeah. Oh, cool. I'm sure it's like loosely based on reality. I can imagine the music is going to be fantastic. Yeah. Um, I'd want to be in something like Broadchurch. Yeah. The actors in that. I don't know if a serial drama. People, yeah. If um, if anyone watching is into British television, but Broadchurch with David Tennant was a phenomenal series. I mean, Sherlock is is like at this moment in time kind of like the pinnacle of really great high production value British TV but Broadchurch just had the most incredible actors yeah a great they story were, too it was it was just like phenomenal I was so surprised and like now David Tennant he's a hell of an actor he is but I, I mean like everybody else that was in that show like Filch from Harry Potter is in it yeah but but the other actors um, who I'd never even seen before they were really, really great. Dive. Barely missed that. Wow. <laughs> I like that they're all very strategically placed. Yeah, it's funny that that one... Oh. It's on a roof. <laughs> yeah. Um, she's just hanging by one oh, hand. No, I guess it makes no sense. big deal. Look if, how strong she is. If uh, Also, she didn't have her arm locked either, which would put in a lot more effort. Um, I guess if they're cleaning the gutters up there... That's probably why they have a bunch of leaves just hanging around. <laughs> just cleaning the gutters, no big deal. But climbing, uh, again, just because this is a parkour kind of place. Sleep. Um, parkour kind of situation. Uh, Where am I? When we were on the wall and we got tired, we would just dangle off it, but we'd have to lock our arm. Yeah. Like if you if you had it bent like that, you were using so much energy. Oh and yeah, it would Strain yeah. your arms, so you just locked it. And you just dangled. <laughs> You're just like oh, just, just flopping gonna... around. Yeah, or whatever. pretty much. That's funny. All right, let's see here. We've been going for. Let's do one more mission. Okay. Eighteen we'll sixty-four. The toll gates and bars across main roads. Up. Oh, all right. I, I jump back to the train because our safe is full. Because it's the same deal in Assassin's Creed where you have a safe that like keeps collecting money. Okay. And so I want to go back there and get the money on the safe. Right here. And collect income. Thank you. Thousand florins or whatever. Is that is that as much as your safe can hold? No, no. It expands, like, um, over time. Oh. All right. So we want to get down here. A spoonful of syrup. As, uh, as Jacob. A spoonful of medicine. Oh. Come on. I swear if one of these... If Evie or Jacob dies, I'm gonna be really unhappy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There you go. That was cool though. That though she like kind of like her was, momentum carrier. Yeah, that was really cool. Yeah, the the amount of animations that this stuff goes into is just incredible. Like, how long was this in production? Um, they do it like on a on a like uh, staggered production schedule. So like they were working on this one while uh, while Unity was being made. Okay. So Unity had a one year head start. That was the last one, obviously. And so this one has another year of production on top of what that one did. Or what, which one was Unity? Because I keep getting the French flag one. and Unity mixed up. Unity was the French one. The French one? Yeah. Took place in France, like Revolution, all that stuff. Really? I don't think I've you played were, it. Ar- you were Arno Dorian? I, I don't think, think I I don't think I've played it. Really? I don't think I've seen it. Yeah, yeah, yeah um, people gave it a lot of crap. It had some issues with it. it had some tech issues with it because it was the first time they'd used the new engine because uh, it was a new console. Is this like Xbox One? Yeah, it was Xbox One and um, and PlayStation Four. And um, yeah, some some people were pretty upset with it, but ultimately they patched it and fixed it up and stuff. But uh, yeah. All right. So this is a mission where you have to play as Jacob. So I'm switching from Evie over to Jacob right now. Cool. Or at least it'll kick me into into Jacob. So don't be shocked when our our girl Evie goes away. So the revolution, the revolution, the French Revolution, the French Revolution, the French revolution. Mm-hmm. and the bourgeois. I didn't. I don't think I've seen it at all. It's a pretty cool game. Like, so Rogue and Unity came out at the same time, and Rogue was the the previous gen game, and that's the one where you actually become a Templar and you have to fight assassins. 
um, you become a Templar and you have to fight assassins. Mm-hmm. I don't know well, you're you start as an assassin and then you get kind of betrayed by the assassins. Not betrayed, but basically they kind of screw you up, like screw you over. Mm-hmm. And so you're like, screw this, I'm going to go f- play with the Templars. And you'll become a Templar and you encounter that um, not all of the assassins are good. Right. Well, any organization, some people are going to suck. Yeah. Oh, crap. Like the marriage organization. What? Yeah. That was a terrible joke. Marriage organization? I'm saying you suck. Son of a bitch. Grab me a drink. <laughs> he cut me off. Run. Slide. Wee. <laughs> so my little brother and I, I keep calling him little. He's not little at all. Uh, but he's younger than me. So he and I. Um, so he's little. I, I told Yeah. So I talk about how he and I used to play a lot of video games. Um, and on Nintendo, the black and gray one. Black and gray one? Mm-hmm. Was it NES? Was the, was the NES Super Nintendo? Super Nintendo. Okay. So it was the Super Nintendo. And we played True Lies on it, because True Lies is like one of my family's favorite films. Uh, True Lies, Fifth Element, Independence Day. Like, just those kind of really crazy dramatic um films so or action-packed rather um so we played true lies on uh super nintendo I'm pretty sure it was super nintendo and there's this pot where you like put landmines down but you have to like shoot someone at this i don't know anyway so we were really obsessed with the song do a little dance we'd watch dr doolittle okay and the guinea pig goes do a little dance it's ran over child make a little it's actually Chris Rock's character. Um, so we were really obsessed with that song. And we made Arnold Schwarzenegger in the True Lies game on Super Nintendo. Do a little dance, make a little love, get down tonight. And I just remember we we would do get down tonight, but we had to place a mine. So if we moved after we did the get down tonight part, uh, we would blow up. Nice. So it was always risky, but worth it. <laughs> risky, but worth it. Worth it. All right. Things are good homes. Good. Yeah, I didn't play a lot of the uh, the gory games. I'm pretty sure my sister played them with my brother. Because I wouldn't do ah, it. Ah, crap. I just realized I didn't think I have the double assassination. No, I do. Everything's right in the world. There he is again. That I'm, guy. I'm fighting yet. Yeah. Well, that's like the bruiser mm-hmm. archetype. Yeah, he's terrifying. He looks like I'm just the fighting guy these dudes from... on top of the train, on top of the thing. He looks like the guy from Agent, Agents of Shield. Man, these guys are meaty. Oh. <laughs> now you need medicine. Stab him while he's down. Did I tell you that I really, um, that I really like The Lost of Us? From, like the things that I'd seen from The Last of Us, but I guess everything that I had seen for the past year or so that it's been out. Oh, it's not good. Even you're about to die. Yeah, I don't have any medicine because I didn't buy any. Cause I'm an idiot, and I just got smart. <laughs> All right, let's try this one over again. You okay? What are we saying about uh, Agents of Shield? No, no, Last of Us. Last of Us. I guess I I hadn't ever seen um, anything with the clickers before. Oh yeah. And I just the other day was watching a friend of mine's um, short that they did a comedy short that they did about the Last of Us and and how Ellie. Um, everyone's Meep. talking. How Ellie? Um. Oh, just how she was like how she really should have behaved, which was just, like, really exasperated because Joel just made really shitty decisions all the time, <laughs> trying to be the adult, but really she was the one who should have been calling the shots because she was a little kid, like, she was a, a young woman. Um, he felt protective of her. Uh, so it's just a funny video about that. But anyway, so they have, like, I was like, ha this is funny, and there's a lot of banter between them, and then they're like, oh, my God, they're coming around the corner, and this clicker comes around the corner, like, a live action, this live action shot. Clicker comes around the corner and starts making the noise that that I guess the clickers make, and I immediately like had to to like stop the video because it's the sound that the kid in the grudge makes. Yeah, that, that, I don't, I don't, no, I don't yeah, do yeah, it. that thing, creepy but, thing. Yeah, and it's and it's like a horror movie that scarred me as a kid, or as a you know young person. So uh, 
I went and I looked up other videos of, of the gameplay and I was like, no, this really is the sound that they make. How is it physically possible that I had never heard that before and I had no idea. And then I never, I never associated the name Clicker with anything else. I was like, oh, it's just a weird name for a person that's mutated. Hmm. Then I'm just called Moldies. Oh. And I just called moldy. <laughs> well, because they're mutated, right? And they're mutated with mold, or not mold. Um, yeah, it's like a kind of. Come on, Jacob. Mold situation. I don't know. Someone else can catch me. Oh my I god, that hurt. It. There we go. Can you loot medicine from them? Um, no. What? I do have a little bit of medicine. Man, these guys are powerful. I should probably have uh, upgraded my stuff. Oh man, there's another one? Ah. Can you run away? Well, I need to... Ah, uh, you guys suck. Yeah, I can try. Go away. Stop following... What? Oh, what? I ran into a horse. Did he just run over you? Wow. Alright, I gotta try this another way. Oh, man. Do you wanna try again next video? No, we'll give, we'll give it one more shot. Alright. I can do this. I believe in you. But yeah, yeah, I'm a level... I have Jacob is only level uh, 2 right now, and I think this is a level 4 mission, so it's a lot more difficult. So, uh... Yeah. There was a tutorial... There was a little tip earlier that talked about uh, they think that King Arthur's sword may have been a piece of Eden. And you love, you love the Arthurian period, That's right? cool. I am frankly obsessed with the Arthurian you period. You are. Mm -hmm. That's why I cried when I pulled the sword out yes. at Disneyland. I cried so hard. <laughs> it was kind of ridiculous. It was really sweet. <laughs> why would you go backwards? Go forwards, not backwards. I still like that I pulled it out and Bling didn't. Eh. I keep seeing his, his BuzzFeed thing circulate every now and then about him proposing to all the Disney princesses. All right, there. See, I, I'm detected. No one saw me. Mm. Bonk. Headshot. Cool. All right, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go through and just slaughter everyone before I get caught. Save me a lot of trouble in the long run, I think. You know, kill this sniper, because I hate snipers. Son of a bitch! Give me a drink! Oh, oh, that was brutal. That was pretty rough. Is there anybody else? The driver. Pink, you just walked out? Oh, or was a person? Oh. Someone's being robbed. I think we have more pressing matters to attend to. Like all the dead people. Alright, so now I gotta find the distribution boss. Excuse me, sir. I'm gonna borrow this. Horses were a hot commodity back then. You just Absolutely. be taking, taking I'm stuff. I'm borrowing one. Give it it's back. okay. I'm just, I'm just, excuse me. Oh, don't, don't mind me. Headbutt. It's all good. All right, this could be kind of difficult, I imagine. Shortcut. Bring it all. What do you have for dinner tomorrow? Uh, I've got. I can make spaghetti. Mm. I enjoy oh. the paschetti. Do we need to put it in the fridge? Yeah, we'll thaw it out tonight. Okay. Spaghetti sounds mm. good. All right. And then I'll make chicken. Whoa, <laughs> they were sliding to a stop. That was awesome. Or just like shit, 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 guys. But I'm a little tired. Well, have a nap. Zinf has a miss us. All right, so I gotta locate the distribution boss. And the media is like, well, f that. Whoa. Meanwhile, Australia is all like, WTF, mate. Yeah, you fight those guys, not me. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, I gotta kidnap a dude. Oh. 
like if he did. But it's happening. Oh god, I think I pissed off a bunch of people. Oh no, you let your men die. That's yeah, okay. Yeah. No, it isn't. Well, it's they're they're fighting. They not they believe in the cause. I guess. We're all in this together, rooks. Yeah, there are a couple things I'd die, I'd die for. Is there? Mm-hmm. Yep. Oh yeah, I was gonna check and see if I could update my skills as Jacob. Totally forgot to do that. Oh, he's a level one because I haven't updated anything. He's got twelve <laughs> skills. That explains a lot. All right, so yeah, let me uh, purchase that one. Poor Jacob. Let's get a uh, Eel Vision two. That's important. I caught so I can the see yawns. Walls. I'm sorry. That's all right. It's sleepy time. Do uh, uh, do health boost. Health boost is good. Yeah, because he keeps dying. What? So I was doing this as a level one. This is a level four mission. Oh. And so I can at least get two. And I still have two. Jesus, I have a lot. So there was this thing on Tumblr that uh, said current status um, hooded figure walking around the far hooded figure in a in a misty forest or something like that. <laughs> and I added to it like drinking the blood of a unicorn. What? <laughs> and I thought it was really funny. Nice. And people all responded well to it. Uh, it's a Harry Potter reference, in case you didn't know. Oh, okay. Uh, Did you really not know? No, wait, so wait. You're just, <laughs> no, it's just funny that you just went along with it. Like, huh, yeah, you're a hooded figure in a misty forest drinking unicorn blood. That's funny. I get it. Well, then that's uh, what they thought uh, What's-His-Name was doing, right? Um, that's what Voldemort and Quirrell were doing, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh. I thought that's what they, they would say about... Um, What's his name? About, uh... Lupin? Lupin, yeah. yeah. No, Lupin never killed a unicorn. Lupin probably couldn't catch a unicorn. Um. Alright, so I have to kidnap that dude. He also had the guys around him to, um, keep him in line. Alright, he's one of my guys. I know it was Voldemort. Or Voldemort. Because we've all been saying it wrong. Valdeles. How did, how did that happen? Like, wait, how does that slip through the cracks? We've been saying it wrong? Yeah, it's Voldemort. It's a French word, apparently. Well, that's... I'm gonna blame... It was it's absolutely J.K. Rowling's fault. Because she had every opportunity to tell the film yeah. and didn't... Wow, everyone is clearing out. They did not like me murdering that dude. Well, can you blame them? Eh. Everyone gets all weird about... Knife murder for some reason. As opposed to other matter. I grew up acutely afraid of knives. Well, because you didn't have guns. Mm -mm. Nope. I was never afraid of guns until I moved here. Oh, what the? Um. Don't worry, we don't have any guns in the house. That's not true. I was actually, I was afraid. My little, br again, I will. All, all my stories involve my little brother. Your little brother sounds like he just ruins everything. He, no, no, he's he's wonderful. I love him um, very dearly. He used to make he played Call of Duty a lot, or just just uh, military style games. And uh, when he played Lego, he would always build guns, like really intricate uh, guns. Yeah. And then he would think it's funny to come and put them to my head. Because that's what, well, that's what you see. I mean, I, this is something I've, I've only started realizing now, but this is what you see on television and in films. Um, I think it, it, it really became apparent to me when John Oliver talked about torture and how torture doesn't work. Maybe it was John Stewart. I can't remember which one did the, the bit on it, but uh, they were talking about how torture yields um, so little results and... and if there are results, they're often false. Um, but you see, you, torture is glamorized because it's always the good guy torturing the bad guy to get information, you know? Like, yeah, yeah. And they use 24, that, that TV show as an example. Like, he's always pointing his gun at everybody's head, going, like, tell me where it is, tell me where I'm from, blah, blah, blah. And that seems like really powerful and kind of glamorous. Um, so, I could totally see where my, my little brother would pick that up. But it used to just drive me crazy. And he played this game uh, called Command Command and Conquer? Command or Conquer? Yeah, Command and Conquer. Command and Conquer. And there were just little... Oh, th no, no, don't pick them up. God damn it. 
Ah. Run! I had, to, I had to drop this guy so I could murder another dude, and the guy I was supposed to get just ran away. No! God damn it. Um, they were little pixel blobs that I they didn't even really form in a, in a you know a, a human form, but when they died, they screamed. Oh yeah. They just be oh, like, God damn it! Ah! I don't want to. <laughs> Maybe you can catch him. I was so close to him when I was I was mashing B and I jumped into the back of a freaking van. Um. Okay, we're going with that. So you're talking about Command and Conquer and people. Well, just yeah, Command and Conquer. Like he just played a lot of military games, um, or mil military themed games. Um, and Command and Conquer used to. He I wouldn't. I refused to like be in the same room as him playing it, which happened to be our lounge room because um, we had such a small house. Uh, so I'd have to hide in my bedroom while he played it <laughs> uh, for his allotted time on the computer while I wanted to play MS DOS games because they'd scream when they died and I couldn't handle hearing that um, which I now know is because I'm a hypersensitive person but back then it was just really rough it's <laughs> <laughs> clocked in the face but so that's how I became afraid of guns. Okay. That's how that story ties Via back into Command it. and Conquer, essentially. Yeah, I guess it goes all that way, all the way back. Thanks for um, attending therapy with me, everybody. <laughs> I really appreciate it. Oh, jeez. Oh, he's he's upset. I'm gonna knock him out. Good night. Oh, don't mind me, cops. Nope, nope. Don't worry. That's okay. Shh, shh. Did you knock him out? Wait, are they? Oh, wait. What? I thought you were on their side. Well, they're on your side. Uh, well, they saw me just choke a man unconscious, and then this dude's just kind of in the middle. He just popped <laughs> you on the head. And What's this dude doing? Do? The head just get out of the way, man. There's <laughs> clearly a cop fight going on. They are not taking any yeah, damage. Yeah, what's going on there? Is it because you're not meant to kill them? I don't know. Maybe. There we go. That'll do it. Oh. Wow. That was uncool. Look at that combo. Or 38, 40. Bonk. 50. 1. 2. <laughs> oh. Why can't you just kill him? Uh, I have to beat him a little bit. I have to, I have to prove a point. Uh, Do you really? Yes. I'm genuinely wondering why you can't just kill him. Oh. Wow, that looked. Oh. 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 <laughs> that way. <laughs> All right. On that note, we should get out of here. Where's the guy that you put to sleep? Uh, he's over there somewhere on the ground, but another bad guy showed up. Here, I'll try to murder this one instead of whacking him up against things. Oh. No, no, no. Try for, try for, try for. Don't you understand that? There we go. That was much cleaner than the last one. Do you not have to pick that guy that you put to sleep up? No, I, that was the end of the mission. Like, so so that's him there. Um, I think you have to kidnap I him. loot him. Well, no, what happened was I was kidnapping him when I was doing it correctly. So he's actually, see, he's unconscious. Cause he, I can still assassinate him right now. Should I kill him just to be safe? Well, wait, what was the mission? The mission was to basically get information from him. Mm -hmm. And I did that kind of by accident by... Um, by chasing him down, like I had him kidnapped, and then I when I let him go, it kind of ruined everything because, uh, oh, hang on, <laughs> but because uh, he then he started running away, which kind of like triggered the next part of the mission already. So I kind of by screwing up, I sort of advanced forward. Is he a bad guy? He's a bad guy. I guess kill him. Okay, <laughs> he's dead. Yay! <laughs> we are causing mayhem. This dude just wrecked his vehicle. Okay, whatever. Here we go. We'll, Excuse me, good we'll sir. take this. Let's, we're just cleaning up the streets now. Just cleaning up the streets. Just getting away. Getting away You're from all the murder. Side. Oh, sorry. No, I'm on the correct side now. You are on the correct side. I thought you were veering. The English. Here, we'll get one more sync point. And that'll be the, the finish of it. Okay. We'll get a nice view of the, the city. Oh, I got run over by my own carriage. Well, you know what they say about stealing carriages. What do they say? You gotta get run over. Oh. <laughs> I don't know how you didn't hear that. I wasn't paying attention in class that day. Mm. Have you ever been in a horse-drawn carriage? No. I went to say yes because I thought that for some reason I was on that episode of Parks and Recreation. 
Then I was not. <laughs> you were not on that I episode. I was not. Leslie Nope. Uh, yeah, you weren't. Well, no, it wasn't even Leslie Nope. It was Ben and. Uh, oh, that's right. That's and, totally uh, right. And Larry, or Gary, or whatever his name is. Yeah, totally right. Because Leslie had to do other stuff. Mm -hmm. All right, we get this beautiful view. Ooh, just kidding. I'm not going to run past it. Um, so the answer is no. I don't think I have. There we are. Come on. But I noticed in Austin they started putting bags on their butts. Well, they've been doing that for a while. I don't know. Because the horses poop. Right, but I, I hadn't seen that before. Uh -huh. They always just pooped on the road. <laughs> Pretty gross. You see horse poop every now and then. There, we have horses near our house. and Which is fine near yeah. our house because it's like we live in an area where that's, you know, there are horses. Yeah, yeah. But um, in the middle of 6th Street, yeah, <laughs> there it's are not, people not what you walking want. around. It's a little rough. <laughs> just because there's no grass. It's just road, so... <laughs> All right. They're pretty. So that's it. Uh, we are, we're moving along. Now we've got, uh, I think, Jacob. Yeah, Jacob's mission is real close by, so we'll knock that one out pretty soon. And I'll probably start going through and uh, doing some of the side missions that build up our character as well. I probably won't be there for that. Not for that stuff. Well, we, we won't record that. Love me. <laughs> Wait, you won't record it? No, no, no. no. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm, all the story stuff is what we're going to film, and that's oh. what we'll put up. But, like, the side stuff that really doesn't affect the story it just kind of builds your character i'll do that to make our characters a little bit more strong get better weapons and stuff and that way the story stuff we can get through quicker hmm. sound good mm, no thank you internet thank you for watching hope you enjoyed it uh, feel free to subscribe we're gonna have a lot more of these uh coming up soon and uh yeah the uh the assassin's creed syndicate go check it out love it all right see you next time bye